So next I want to introduce um, one of our Northern Ridge volunteers, Jen Hen, who is going to help us and show us um, the tips and tricks that she has when it comes to QR codes. So Jen, can I hand it over to you? Hi, I'm Jen Hen and I'm with Troop 2000 and I am the camp card chair for the Northern Ridge District as Blake had said. I will be sharing my screen and giving you some ideas on how to use a QR codes. So today, why would we use QR codes? Well, if you, if you happen to have your phone handy dandy with you, you if you have a QR code screen uh, screener, you can go and scan both of these QR codes. If you, if you do, you'll notice one of them will take you directly to our troop link. And in our troop, we actually have the ability to go and set up PayPal. So the scout would be able to direct them to our link and they would be able to purchase a camp card and we could give them, the, give them their card. The other link I have is for a direct message to the the, the customer and the customer will get my troop link and it will give my phone number if I so wanted to give it to them. So you can set up your QR code any way you want to. And as Ellen was saying, you know, be prepared. So if you have a flyer and let's say you go and your, your scout is knocking door, door to door, you could have them have a flyer with the QR code, leave that flyer if maybe they're not available. So then they scan the QR code and it links them to you. And that's one way, if, especially if it's your neighbors and they're like, oh, this is Johnny down the street. I wanna get my camp card from them. I didn't realize this. Then they have something to connect you with. So how do you make a QR code? And I will be showing this. Now, I have a link for anyone who wants to watch the whole thing. It's about six minutes long. I will be giving you one just that's a little bit, I've condensed it a little bit so you can see how to make it. Some of you may be whiz, um, already know how to use a QR code, but if you don't, this is kind of a basic. I know my phone, my smartphone and as a Samsung and an Android, it automatically comes with a QR code um, scanner. Some phones already have that availability. If not, you can download an app very easily. I use my QR code for lots of different reasons. I teach so I can use it for setting it up. So that's the reason I, we do use QR codes a little bit more. Let me see if I can get to I'm sorry, I can't get to the link. Is it? And let me share my screen again. There we go. All right. Hello, oh, friends. Today I'm going to show you how to create a QR code. Now, first, I'm going to show you just quickly how to create a black and white standard QR code, but then I'm going to show you how to add colors and images to your QR codes. Now, everything that I'm going to be talking about will be in the video description, all the links to all the websites. If you have a link or a website you want to share with me, leave a comment and I'll add it to the video description. So let's get started. The very first thing that you need to do is just open a browser window and we're going to navigate to qrstuff.com. Now, qrstuff.com is by far one of the best websites out there to create QR codes, 100% free. Once you get here, you can see in step number one, just choose the type of QR code you wanna create. Now, I'm just gonna create a basic website URL, but you can see that they have Bitcoin, SMS, phone numbers, uh, all your social networks. So select the type of QR code you want to create. Step two is enter the URL. I'll use instructions101.com for this example. And that's really all we need to do. Now we can just download the QR code and it downloaded. I'll drag and drop that to my desktop. And there it is. Now I can scan this QR code. Anybody can scan this QR code 
using their mobile phones. So how do you do that? Well, all you need is an app that scans QR codes on your phone. There are tons of them freely available on the App Store for iPhone, Android, and Windows phones. So just go to the App Store, type in QR code scanner free, and download a free app to scan QR codes. Then you'll be able to scan this QR code and you can check to see whether it works and it goes where you want it to go before you put it wherever you're going to put it, whether it's a t-shirt, a mug, a sticker on your website, so on and so forth. So that's how you create just a basic black and white QR code very quickly, easily, and like always for free. I also want to point out goqr.me, goqr.me, another great website, very basic, very simple, easy to use. Step one, you just select the type again, not as many types, but that's okay. You can just select a URL again if you need to. I'll use instructions 101 and boom, download. That'll pop up this screen and you can change the color and do a little other modifications to it, but let's just go ahead and download that as a JPEG. And boom, there it is. So those are two websites that I recommend. Very quick, easy, uh, very, very user friendly. So let's get to something a little bit more advanced and that's unitag.io. Okay, um, so I'm going back and I will, I want to go ahead and let you know that there are other ones that you can do, like my fancy one, there is a fancier one that you can um, do where it's colorful and it changes information. Um, you can, I've added my little logo here with Troop 2K on it. I even made one that had the Camp Card logo. So it, it just, you can create it in that, that video. It gives you another website to give you a little bit more fancy one if you want it to. Um, but just that is the very basic. It's, so it's very, very simple. We used uh, this year, we do Christmas tree recycling and we put a QR code on our signs and we normally have them on our flyers. We get tons and tons of calls and information wanting to know more about it. So this is just one way for you, another way to give you um, access to people in the community without actually, if you feel, you know, a little bit of trepidation of going out there and talking um, face to face with somebody, you can give them direct them to this QR code. I know we'll have some social media, you could put it with social media. So there's just a, this is just one other part of selling camp cards. So thank you. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Uh, we'll have this uh, available part of our um, video and you can download the information on how to get more about information about the QR codes. Thanks.